ready? We praise the Lord God. You want to go live? Hallelujah. So thank you, Lord Jesus. Shall we pray? Father God, we honor you for all that you do, for your goodness, for your grace, for your mercy. We thank you, God, for keeping us. Nous te remercions, Seigneur, de nous garder dans ta bonté. Nous te remercions de nous garder, Seigneur, dans ta grâce. Oh Lord God, you are good for all that you do. For it is your good will that brought us here together to honor you, to give you the praise. Speak unto us, teach us, lead us. And let our eyes see. Let our hear hear. Let our understanding comprehend. And let our heart be molded so that we bear fruit. Seigneur, transforme-nous de l'intérieur pour que nous soyons capables de porter des fruits. Et des fruits dignes, Seigneur, de repentance. Dignes, Seigneur, de ton toucher. Que nos yeux voient dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Alléluia. Alléluia. Oh. Aujourd'hui plus qu'avant. J'ai besoin de toi, Seigneur. J'ai besoin de toi. Aujourd'hui plus qu'avant. Aujourd'hui plus qu'avant. Jésus, j'ai besoin de toi. J'ai besoin de toi. Aujourd'hui plus qu'avant. Aujourd'hui plus qu'avant. Seigneur, j'ai besoin de toi. J'ai besoin de toi. Aujourd'hui plus qu'avant. Aujourd'hui plus qu'avant. J'ai besoin de ton onction. J'ai besoin de ton onction. J'ai besoin de ton esprit, Jésus. J'ai besoin de ton esprit. J'ai besoin de ta parole. J'ai besoin de ton toucher, Seigneur. J'ai besoin de ton toucher. Oh, I need you, oh Lord. I need you, oh Lord. To the more than before. To the more than before. God, I need you. Seigneur, j'ai besoin de toi. 
Père, j'ai besoin de toi. Oh God, I need you. We need you, Father. Sharede dabati sarade. Puisque je souffre que j'ai. Transformed de l'intérieur. So Lord God, we be transformed from inside. Libro sebe kita de da ba de. J'ai besoin de toi. J'ai besoin de toi. Aujourd'hui plus qu'avant.
Seigneur, puisque le souffle que j'ai dans ma poitrine, more than the air that I breathe in my lungs, j'ai besoin de toi, I need you, God. J'ai besoin de toi, I need you, Father. Tare brendo roski brandi la la sonenea. Again, touch me again. 
touch me again. Rebra subagadi gadol subodagada. Touch me again, Father. Shantera brosi gideba. Touche-moi, Seigneur, encore. Les prophètes égadés. Tandere de brando gossi daradi. Touche-moi, Père. Touche-moi, Seigneur. Alléluia. Touche-moi, Père. Nous te bénissons, Père, pour tout ce que tu fais. Vous bless your name, Lord God. For all that you do. Because of you, we are here. Because of you, Lord God, we continue. Because of your word, we continue. Because of your grace, we continue. Because of you, we continue. Let your word be found in us. Que ta parole soit et demeure en nous. Qu'elle soit trouvée vraie dans nos vies. Qu'elle soit trouvée manifeste dans nos vies. Qu'elle soit trouvée vraie dans nos vies. Alléluia. La Sunday, by the word, by the grace of God, we have received the word from Pastor Martin. God has delivered us a word of power to tell us that uh, we ought to want to be touched one more time. Alléluia. And God built upon that word, and today we're going to rough through that word. Touch me again. Alléluia. Say, Lord, touch me again. Lord, touch me again. You see, as Pastor Martin says last Sunday, when God was expected to touch somebody, quand la puissance de Dieu était expectée, attendue de toucher quelqu'un, the word of God says the Lord came touched the man by the hand, held him, and brought and led him out. Hallelujah. If you want to have a change in your life, you need to get out of something that is causing you not to be changed. Hallelujah. If you need to have something transformed in your life, you must first and foremost Get from among the things that prevent your transformation. Si tu veux être transformé par la gloire et la bonté de Dieu, tu dois d'abord et avant tout sortir de là et des choses qui te tiennent et qui, qui, qui empêchent ta transformation. Car par la parole de Dieu, nous sommes transformés. By the word of God, We are transformed by the word of God. We are changed. It is one thing to ask for revival, but it is better, remember, to have a change and a transformation. C'est une chose de demander que nous soyons ravis, ravivés. C'est une autre chose de vouloir être changé et transformé. Sometimes when you have somebody who is out of breath and then you put your hand or you try to do the CPR, resuscitate the person, if the heart of the person is not conditioned to continue, you will go back in what state he was before you found him. And after you help him, he will go right back because the heart needs always a revival. Lorsque quelqu'un est à court de souffle et que tu veux ressusciter la personne en faisant, euh, comment on appelle, le bouche à bouche, le cardio vasco, si le cœur de la personne n'est pas rétabli, quelle que soit l'aide que tu donneras, dans le temps qui viendra, la personne retombera dans les choses cardiovasculaires parce que le cœur doit être rétabli. Donc, être ravivé est une chose, mais elle n'est pas la bonne manière. Être transformé et changé est la chose qui nous garde dans la continuité du Seigneur. To be transformed and changed is what keeps us 
to continue in the will and the word of God. We can be revived. But if we always revived, we will always go forth and back. Go forth and back until we are transformed from inside. Ah, Jesus. Say, Lord, transform me from inside. Change-moi de l'intérieur. Transform me the in from inside. There is something that God does in our lives that goes beyond what we see. Hallelujah. In the life of the man, hmm, in the life of the blind man, whatever God wanted to do in his life started first in the spirit. He had to change his spiritual condition. Ah, Jesus. Dans la vie de l'homme aveugle, dans le livre de Marc, avant que Dieu ne transforme sa vie, il fallait que Dieu change la condition spirituelle dans laquelle il était. Mm. Because there are times you can receive a miracle, but you remain the same. Are you what I'm saying? That's why God says, I don't want to touch you, I want to make you whole. Il y a des fois, tu peux recevoir le miracle de Dieu, tu peux recevoir la main de Dieu, la grâce de Dieu, mais tu remèmes, tu, 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 tu demeures à Jésus-Christ. La même personne, la personne qui devait être sauvée il y a 45 ans, il y a 2 ans, il y a 3 ans, il y a 3 mois, cette même personne ne change pas parce que les choses de Dieu dans sa vie n'ont pas grandi. When you are touched by God and you have come to the Lord and you have known the Lord and that you have tested the grace of God for five, 45 years, two months, and you are still not transformed, is because inside there are things that God has not wanted that are still in. Touch me again. You see, in the life of the man, when the Lord touched him, the Lord sent him home. What does it mean? The Lord sent him in the source of revive, of the resource of transformation, the resource of peace, the resources of building, the resources of gathering, the resources of planning. It says go home, meaning start again. Quand il transforme la vie et touche la vie, guérit l'aveugle, il lui dit, pars, repars à la maison. La maison ici, c'est de lui dire, repars, reprends tout à zéro, mais cette fois-ci avec moi. Go back, this time, start all over, but start all over this time with me, in me, by me, for me, through me. Alléluia. Il lui dit, cette fois-ci, répare à la maison, mais quand tu changes et quand tu commences les choses, commence cette fois-ci avec moi, au travers de moi, par moi, en moi et pour moi. Sometimes, we do only few of them. We do for God, but not always from God. Souvent, nous, disons, nous faisons les choses pour Dieu et non pas les choses de Dieu. So we are called to be transformed so we may be able and capable to go home and to start this time with a vision in the spirit. Alors nous sommes transformés par la grâce de Dieu pour que nous puissions être capables cette fois-ci de retourner à l'étape départ et de faire les choses avec la vision dans l'esprit. Let's go read the book of Mark. Chapter 8. I believe you should have also the uh, French version right, something right. 
If you look in French, you should be able to see that. Hallelujah. So let's read the book of Mark, chapter 8. Go ahead in uh, uh, the King James Version. Verse, from verse 22. 22. 20, uh, 20, 22. Mark chapter 8, verse 22. And he cometh to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw out. Verse 24. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. 27. And Jesus went out and his disciples into the town of Caesarea Philippi. And by the way, he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist. But some say, Elias, and others, one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say he that I am? And Peter answered and said unto him, Thou art the Christ. And he changed and he charged them that they should tell no man of him. Hallelujah.
in your life, it will get you out of the ground, out of the dirt, just as he made men. I'm attempting to, to help myself in French and English as it's difficult. <laughs> Alléluia. Alléluia. <rire> Amen. Parce que je souhaite que papa puisse comprendre en français. Donc j'essaie de parler en français, en anglais. Là, c'est difficile. <rire> I did not realize it was that difficult. <rire> Alléluia. So let's go back to the word. Give him back to verse 23. Yeah, in English, please. We have it? There you go. Uh -huh. And he took the blind man by the hand mm -hmm. and led him out of the town. Mm -hmm. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if mm -hmm. he saw out. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees mm -hmm. walking. Mm -hmm. After that, he put his hands on again upon his eyes mm -hmm. and made him look up and he was restored and saw every man clearly. Mm. Let me put it this way. Last Sunday we were able to see the picture of a man standing that they brought in and Christ is asked off to touch him. And Pastor Martin explained that this is a working of miracles. So what's working? is as you have a piece of wood or of paper and you want to do an airplane with that. So what you do, you are working it to make the airplane. C'est comme par exemple, tu as un bout de papier que tu essaies de faire avec un avion. Donc tu prends la feuille de papier et tu commences à manipuler pour faire l'avion. Et c'est comme cela que quand Jésus arrive vers la personne... On lui envoie des personnes, une personne, un aveugle pour qu'il le touche. Mais Jésus regarde l'aveugle et il dit, il faut que je commence à, à travailler dans sa vie. I need to start working in, in his life. I, I, I don't want to just touch him. I want to work in his life. Alléluia, Lord help me. <laughs> Lord, help me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Why is there evangelist Henry? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go continue. <laughs> After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up. Mm -hmm. And he was restored. Mm. And so every man clearly. So let, I want you to go back again to 22. 22. Mm -hmm. And he came to Bethsaida. Uh, no, sorry. 20, 20, 20, 20. Verse yeah. 20. Uh -huh. And when the seven among 4,000, mm -hmm. how many baskets full of fragments took he up? Now, right here, it is the story that ends with the, history, the, the story of the multiplication of what? the fish and the loaves, right? So by then, God has already displayed his ability to make things miraculous. So the people certainly who were around saw it. They say, hey, let us go bring our brother that we know that is blind. Hallelujah. So they were in the time zone. When God is in your neighborhood, he bless your neighbor. So you are the next in line. So here comes the Lord after the miracles, things are suddenly operating and the Lord knows as those people knows that there is a time where they will bring him somebody. But for him to have that person come unto him, he has to he himself make a personal decision by saying, before I do anything in this life, I must remove the limitation. You see? You have oftentimes seen that uh, sometimes you can be with friends and then when you get saved, everybody is like uh, not liking you anymore. Souvent, quand Jésus veut faire quelque chose dans ta vie, avant qu'il ne fasse quoi que ce soit, il va te t'enlever de là où tu es. Et souvent, tu peux voir que Jésus veut faire quelque chose dans ta vie ou quand il commence à travailler dans ta vie, ceux avec qui tu étais dans le, dans, dans le passé, ils commencent à ne plus t'aimer. 
Oh, church is not Christian. Uh, you, uh, I remember somebody said that uh, in Cameroon, if you're born again, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> that was that was the worst thing ever that could happen to you. So God, in His goodness, removes the blind man out of the limitation of his life. Very often, time your spiritual state cause your physical to respond. Meaning, whatever goes in the spiritual, you feel it in the physical. So some spiritual abilities or breakthrough must happen only when you are being removed from that physical limitation. Souvent, il y a des choses que Jésus veut faire dans ta vie, mais il y a des choses aussi qui se tiennent et qui sont liées à ta vie spirituelle et à ta vie physique. Et pour les choses de ta vie physique de changer, il faudra que physique, pardon, pour ta vie spirituelle de changer, il faudra que physiquement tu sois re, remove, que tu sois enlevé. <rire> Where is Evangelist Henry? Alléluia. Que tu sois enlevé pour pouvoir continuer dans ce que Dieu veut faire dans ta vie. So, by the Spirit of God, He saw the man. When He saw him, I can tell you that the man saw him. Because there is a sight that you see by the senses. There is a sight that you see by your hearing. Let me explain unto you. <laughs> Hallelujah. The world speaks unto us by telling us that uh, you see with your eyes. But you see, God sees with what? With everything. The Bible says, let me explain to you so I help you. Okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. What is it when you say? <laughs> ok. Dans la vie spirituelle, tu n'entends pas seulement, et pardon, tu ne vois pas seulement qu'avec tes yeux. Dans la vie spirituelle, tu peux voir avec ton oreille ou avec tes sens. Dans la vie physique, tu ne peux voir qu'avec tes yeux. Alléluia. Um, I'm trying to give you a picture. When Abakuk went up to his tower. He says, I'm standing up on my watch. To do what? To see what the Lord will say. Quand Abacuc, on dit Abacuc, no? Uh, you quoi? Okay. So, <laughs> when Abacuc est parti à la, à son, à la, au tower, à la montagne de garde, au poste de garde. Quand il est arrivé, la Bible dit, il s'est arrêté pour voir ce que le Seigneur dira. Il aurait pu dire, écoutez, mais il dit, voir ce que le Seigneur dira. Dans l'esprit, tu peux voir avec tes oreilles. In the spirit, in the kingdom, devils, devils, creatures that at highs were in the wings. Normally, I should have been on your head. But they had eyes in the wings. Dans l'esprit, quand tu lis la Bible, le livre de Isaïe ou de Ézéchiel ou de Révélation, tu vois qu'il y avait des créatures qui avaient des yeux dans les ailes. Ah, Seigneur, help me. Father God, bless your name, Lord God. So, by the Spirit of God, He has enabled the person first to come out. You want to have God do something in your life, you must step out. You want to do something in the will of God, you want to please God, you want to be able to be transformed by the power of God, you must step out. Every miracle that God does in your life, where you don't step out first, that miracle will not be permanent. 
toute chose, toute chose miraculeuse, toute chose bonne que Dieu fera dans ta vie. Oh, the children of Israel, he got them to step out first. Alléluia. Before he does anything in their life. Le peuple d'Israël, il a causé le peuple d'Israël de sortir d'abord d'Égypte avant de transformer quelque chose dans leur vie. Parce que quand Dieu fait quelque chose dans ta vie, s'il ne te sort pas de là où tu es pour transformer la manière dont tu vois les choses de là où tu es, tu peux être bloqué encore, même après la transformation ou la grâce de Dieu. C'est pour cela que Dieu te sort de là où tu es. That's the reason why God says, Hey Abraham, get thee out. C'est pour ça qu'il dit à Abraham, sors de ton, la maison de ton père. Là, le toucher de Dieu, the touch of God. That comes upon a person comes always to transform you for permanent and permanency. Give me back the word, please. And when the seventh among four thousand, how how many baskets full of fragments took he up? And they said, Seven. And he said unto them, How is it that he do not understand? Okay. As I said again, in that verse, in that chapter, they are explaining the Lord is talking about the Pharisee and the living of the Pharisee. And he told to the disciple, be aware, aware of the living of the Pharisee. And then they thought he was talking about the bread. And then after he's talking about also the miracles that he did. He explaining how he was able to do different miracles. And in the different miracles that he did, how did they also gather all the bread that was the, the leftover of the 5,000 and the 4,000. Hallelujah. And from all this, he wants them to understand that through him, they can receive anything they pray for. Somebody say, through Christ, I receive anything I pray for. The Bible says, if you pray and you believe, you shall receive. Hallelujah. If you pray and you believe, you shall receive. Or when you pray, believe that you have received and you will have it. Quand tu pries, crois que tu as reçu et tu l'auras. That's the reason why I always say it. You cannot ask God to transform your life if you yourself, you are not out or you are not willing to get out of those things that is holding you down. There is no miracle that happened in anybody's life that is permanent until you are, get, you are, you are gotten out. L'on ne peut pas demander au Seigneur de nous transformer Jusqu'à ce que nous soyons capables, volontaires, de sortir des limitations d'où nous sommes. Car tout ce que Dieu fait dans notre vie, pour nous apporter dans sa bonté, pour nous apporter dans sa vision, pour nous apporter dans sa parfaite volonté, c'est de nous sortir pour nous transformer. Il a sorti Abraham. Il a sorti Égypte. Alléluia. Et il a sorti l'homme aveugle. He took out Abraham. He took out Egypt. And he took out the blind man. Same principle with creating any fish. The Bible said that he told unto the water, bring forth. He has to come out of it. Hallelujah. He looks into the ground. He looks the dirt. He takes out of the ground and makes up. Hallelujah. So anytime God takes you out of something, it's to bring you into his. Quand Dieu te sort d'une chose, il t'envoie dans sa volonté. Mais la volonté de Dieu dans ta vie ne peut pas être parfaite si tu ne suis pas le chemin qu'il a tracé. 
The will of God in our life cannot be perfected if we do not follow, hallelujah, the path that he set before us. You see, he told to the blind man, after he healed him, he said, go, where? To your home. And do what? Don't go back in the village. And don't talk to any in the village. He, you know, the same way the Lord spoke to a young man who was a prophet in the Old Testament. He told him, go to preach and then deliver the word to the king. But when you go, well, I'm sorry, when, when you go, don't stay there. Don't eat there. Don't sleep there. Deliver the word, get out. But when you get out, don't take the same path. Mm, Lord Jesus, revelation. Don't say, hey, you got don't take the same path. The same word of destruction that was upon that prophet is the same word God has given to that blind man. By saying, what happened to that guy? If he goes to the same path that he was not supposed to go by again, he would have gone bound down. La Bible dit que dans l'Ancien Testament, <laughs> dans l'Ancien Testament, il y avait un jeune homme qui était appelé un prophète que Dieu a appelé pour aller délivrer la parole au roi. Quand il lui, a, il lui a donné la parole, il lui a dit, quand tu pars, ne, ne, ne dors pas là-bas, ne mange pas là-bas, ne, 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 euh, ne, ne, te, ne, ne te brosse pas là-bas. <rire> mais, mais quand tu finis de donner la parole, hein, yes, <rire> quand tu finis de donner la parole, sors. Mais quand tu sors, ne reprends pas le même chemin que tu as emprunté pour aller là-bas. Et c'est la même chose que Dieu dira à ce monsieur aveugle dans le Nouveau Testament en lui disant, je te guéris, mais quand je te guéris, ne reprends pas le même chemin pour retourner. Hmm. When God touches you, he sees that there are paths that are first, the first thing that causes your state. And there are circumstances, area, and zones And, and, area, uh, um, uh, um, uh, and land and territory that can cause you literally to be and remain blind. Quand Dieu te transforme, quand il te touche, quand il te change, il te dira, ne retourne pas par cette manière, ne reprends pas ce, ce, ce chemin, et ne, ne pars pas là-bas, parce que chaque fois que tu le fais, tu retomberas. So he tells him, I'm not looking to just touch you. Le Seigneur lui dira, je ne cherche pas simplement à te toucher. I'm not looking to just do a miracle in your life. Je ne recherche pas simplement à faire un miracle dans ta vie. I'm not looking to just transform something in your life. Je ne recherche pas simplement à transformer quelque chose dans ta vie. But I want you to get out and don't go back. Je veux que tu sortes et que tu nous retournes pas. La pérennité de la grâce de Dieu dans notre vie s'allonge, se prolonge quand nous sortons des choses dans lesquelles il nous a trouvés. Hallelujah. The life of the grace of God in our lives continues when we, get the, when, when we get out from the things in which he found us. But there, the blind man look. The Bible says when he look up, he saw people like three. There was a fuzzy sight. You see, when you are saved, you know Christ spoke to you. You know Christ speaking to you. Just like the blind man. You know that Christ touched you. Just like the blind man. But your spiritual life is fuzzy. Quand Jésus te sauve, quand il te guérit, quand il te change, quand il te transforme, quand il vient dans ta vie, juste comme le blind euh, le L'aveugle, tu as reçu Jésus, il t'a touché. Mais néanmoins, ta vie spirituelle est bleu. Comment on dit ça? Est dandinante, dandinante. Un bleu, blurry. Blurry, anyway. It's not clear. 
is flu. Ta vie sous Dieu est flou. Très souvent, very often time, what happened in the life of Christians is that they are seeking for an experience with God. Meaning, they go to church, they have a great experience. They go to revival, they have a great experience. They go to prayer, they have a great experience. But the Lord is not looking for an experience with you. Hallelujah. Beaucoup de chrétiens recherchent de l'expérience. Ça veut dire qu'ils vont dire, oh, aujourd'hui, vraiment, j'ai senti la présence de Dieu. Bah, 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 yeah. They will say, oh, oh, today I really felt the word. But you are supposed to have the presence of God all the time. Vous savez, vous devez être présent tout le temps. Vous devez être présent tout le temps. Vous devez être présent tout le temps. So, in the life of the blind man, what God did was to first tell him, If you want a transformation in your life, not just a revival. Si tu veux une transformation dans ta vie, pas simplement être ravivé, c'est de accepter que je te tienne par la main et que je te sorte. It's to agree that I hold you by the hand and that I take you out. Why the hand? Pourquoi la main? Mm -mm. The word of God says that when you are young, okay, somebody take you by the hand. See what I'm saying? The hand explains here that you are incapable of doing anything, that you are a small person, that you are like you are um, you are still a young, you are still a child. So it says. You notice it takes him by the hand first because blindness stands here for anyone who does not see in life. Hallelujah. So it takes you by the hand, it gets you out because you don't see. But when it gets you out, it gives you the sight. But when it gives you the sight, it does no longer take you by the hand. Now, when you receive the sight, it guides you by the word. When you receive the sight, it guides you by his voice. And you are still looking by the hand. And you don't feel his hand and then you think he's not there. But he has already been there and now he has spoken his voice and his word. Quand le Seigneur te touche et transforme, l'aveuglement... La, c'est comme l'état d'esprit de toute personne dans la vie. Quand tu es aveugle, le Seigneur te prend par la main comme un enfant, parce que tu ne vois pas. Mais quand il t'a pris, qu'il t'a sorti, il ne va plus te prendre par la main pour te dire, par ici, faire ceci. Il te conduira par la voix et par la parole. Mais lorsque tu recherches à ce que Dieu te prenne par la main alors qu'il t'a déjà parlé, tu vas rester là, parce que tu vas attendre. Hallelujah. So, you see, when God has already spoken unto you, he told you, go. And then you see, waiting for him to hold your hand, you will stay there. And you will wait. And you will see no one. And that's how you will start saying, I don't hear God. Because the last time he spoke, you did not go. <laughs> the last time he spoke, you did not move. The last time he spoke, you did not do. So you will still have a hindrance in your spirit simply because you are searching for a touch. There is a touch that comes when you go there. When you move. So it tells to the blind man, go. Give him back the word of God. Ah, bless your name, Lord. And he cometh to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. Hallelujah. Amen. There are people who, when they look at you, they have mercy on you. And they pray for you. And they say, Lord, do something in his life. Hallelujah. And he, 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 il y, a des, il y a des gens, quand ils te regardent, ils prient pour toi, ils veulent que Dieu fasse quelque chose dans ta vie. Mais avant que Dieu fasse quelque chose dans ta vie, il veut lui-même personnellement te prendre et te dire, il faut que je te sorte d'abord. 
Hallelujah. I will remember when I was younger, my mom, we often some pray that the Lord would touch me, that the Lord would transform me, that the Lord would change my heart because I was not all the time going to church. And then when Christ met me, when he transformed me, I had to have a personal relationship, a personal touch that remains in my mind, in my memory, that makes me every day look at that day to say why I need to continue. Because once the Lord touches and transforms and heals and then makes something in your life, the command that he gives you, if you don't arrive where he told you, you will not hear him again. He tells to the disciple, go, tell the brethren after he raised again. He rise again from the dead. He said, tell the brethren to go meet me where? In Galilee. So they would have stayed where they were. They wouldn't have seen him because the instruction will go and I'll meet you in Galilee. Il y a des choses que tu ne peux pas avoir dans ta vie jusqu'à ce que tu décides que la parole que Dieu t'a dite hier, tu l'as accomplie avant que tu n'entends ce qu'il te dira pour demain. C'est pour cela qu'il a dit aux gens de Galilée, il a dit aux disciples, il dit, après sa résurrection, il dit, je veux les voir, je veux leur parler, mais qu'ils aillent me retrouver à Galilée. Et les disciples auraient pu dire, mais le Seigneur est partout, moi je vais l'attendre ici. Ah, tu vas attendre longtemps. <rire> tu seras garé comme une, 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 une vieille BMW, Mercedes, Benz. <rire> Alléluia. So the Spirit of God that transforms our lives always takes us out from where we were. Alléluia. Give me back the word. And let's finish. Verse 23. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw out. Hallelujah. Amen. We already know that the Lord knows everything. If God asks you a question, it's not because he does not have the answer. It's to see if your faith has now started. Nous savons que Dieu, Dieu connaît toutes choses. Il sait toutes choses. Si le Seigneur te pose une question, ce n'est pas parce qu'il ne connaît pas la réponse. C'est pour savoir si ta foi a démarré. Donc la Bible dit, il le prend par la main, et il, il, il crache, il prend la, 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 la salive et met sur ses yeux et lui demande, est-ce que tu vois? Mais le Seigneur sait. He said, déjà, the Lord already knows. He does not need to ask him. But he's asking him to have him speak out the faith that started inside. So he has to recognize the state of the transformation of his life first. Hallelujah. Le Seigneur veut d'abord qu'il reconnaisse que Dieu est en train de travailler dans sa vie d'abord. Hmm. Now, when, when you recognize that he's working in your life, you don't settle there. Quand tu reconnais que Dieu travaille dans ta vie, tu ne restes pas là-bas. Because He has more to do to complete the work he started. Parce qu'il a beaucoup de choses pour accomplir le travail qu'il a commencé dans ta vie. C'est pour cela la Bible dit et qu'il est l'auteur et le finisseur, l'accomplisseur de notre foi. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. So he tells him now. Put on the eye. <laughs> Minister, can I spit on the eye? He said, no. 
Hallelujah. You don't want to be healed? <laughs> my, my speech is anointed. <laughs> Hallelujah. So imagine you're walking with Jesus, you know him. Because by then you already sat with him, you already dined with him, you already walked with him. So you know him. You see Jesus speak in people's life, they are healed. You see them, like you, you see people just like, they, they, they come up simply because you say, get up. And in your turn, you say, <laughs> You will be like, can, can I have hand sanitizer, please? <laughs> Quand tu vois le Seigneur marcher dans ta vie, tu sais bien que le Dieu est avec toi, il te parle, tout ça, et tu vois, il fait des choses dans la vie des gens, il parle, les choses arrivent, il les touche, les choses arrivent, et quand c'est ton cas, il veut cracher sur tout sur ton visage. <laughs> Par le temps qu'il commence à faire la, la salive, là, tu dis, tu dis ben, est-ce que je ne vais pas avoir le homo ou bien savon de toilette là <rire> Tu vas commencer à laver l'onction qu'on a mis sur ton visage. <rire> I was saying that when he started spitting on your, on your face, you will start taking like a, a, a hand sanitizer and soap washing out the anointing. <rire> Alléluia. Amen. Give me back the word, please. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spat on his eyes, he put his hand upon him. He asked him if he saw out. And what did the blind man say? And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Hallelujah. Amen. The, the blurriness, you know, the last time I was doing something with my children because I were asking something like this if you take your phone and then you blurry something you're trying to see you will see that little thing you're trying to see becomes really big so the blurriness he has in his sight was so blurry and foggy that he literally saw people with size of trees but how did he know he was a tree because even though he was blind he was learned hallelujah he learned to touch to hear Go back to the word. And he looked up and what? Go ahead. And said, I see men as trees walking. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to dive a little bit on this one. The word of God say, I see, give me that in French, please. I see men like trees walking. Like, I, I, I want to touch on this one a little bit. Even though we understand the doctrinal and the dogma, I mean the, 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 the doctrine of it, okay? But I want to help you understand something further. He said, il regarda et dit what? J'aperçois les hommes, mais j'en vois comme des arbres et, et qui marchent. Alors, comme je dis, la doctrine est bien établie. Il s'agit simplement qu'il voit des gens, mais la manière dont il voit n'est pas claire. Et c'est tellement bleur, c'est tellement flou qu'il a l'impression que ce sont des arbres. Mais néanmoins, je veux vous aider à aller un peu plus loin dans ce qu'il dit. Parce que la parole de Dieu est à la fois esprit et vie. Alléluia. Donc, je vais prendre cet exemple-là pour pouvoir construire quelque chose pour vous expliquer. The word of God is both spirit and life. So, I'm going to take this one. We understand the doctrine, but I want to use this one as an example to build something for you to understand something. Amen? Go back in English. Verse, um, Mark chapter 8, verse 24. Mm -hmm. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Okay. Again, as I said, I already established that this is clear, but I want to help you. When he... Being touched by the Lord. And the Lord touched with the saliva on his eyes. It is one of the few cases where the Lord has utilized something external in order to heal somebody. 
I say it is one of the few cases where the Lord has externally used something to heal somebody. So when he used something external to touch him, what happened in the life of the person and the declaration is very important because it says, I see like trees walking. He says, and he look up and say, I see men as trees walking. First of all, trees don't walk. But what he sees transcends the understanding of the limitation that he had. He sees the impossible happening. Does it make sense? Let, let, let me, let, I'm, I'm trying to help you with this one. He could have simply said, I see men is blurry. But he says, I see men like tree as trees. Three don't walk. But the faith he has now received calls him to see the impossible happening. He does what the Lord Jesus says. If you have faith, you can move what? A mountain. He started moving trees around. <laughs> oh, man, Lord Jesus, help me with this one. <laughs> he, he entered in another dimension of perceiving. So he has completely entered in a place where he was now able to perceive and to see things in the complete complete shift. He was no longer looking at just human being, but he was even able to look human being as trees walking. So his faith has grown far and beyond the simple limitation of the miracle that they were looking for. Does it make sense? It's like Jesus being on a boat. He sees the nature moving around. And he does what? He speaks to the nature. That comes from the impossible so that it is manifested. For him to start seeing clearly, he has to see the impossible first. For, for you to start to... <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me with this one. I'm trying to buy you in French and then go back in English. <laughs> Alléluia. Alors, je disais que pour la vie de ce monsieur, il aurait pu voir juste les hommes de manière floue, sans dire qu'il voit les hommes comme des arbres. Mais ce qui se passe dans sa vie, c'est qu'il ne voit pas juste des hommes comme des arbres, mais il rentre dans une dimension impossible et il voit des choses impossibles se manifester. Parce que les arbres ne marchent pas. Donc, pour que l'accomplissement de son miracle arrive, ce n'est pas juste la foi, mais il commence à rentrer dans la zone impossible. Parce que Jésus a guéri beaucoup de personnes, mais pas de cette manière. Donc, dans le cas et dans la manière dont Dieu le touche, Dieu l'envoie dans une dimension différente de ce qu'il a toujours connu. Des arbres qui commencent à marcher, il voit des choses impossibles. Il voit de la même manière que Jésus dit, tu peux avec ta foi déplacer une montagne. Très souvent, Very often, time when we hear you can move by faith a mountain, because our faith, first of all, is, is, is smaller than small, okay? We all need the master seed. So because our faith is smaller than smaller, we say, oh, it's, no, it's just a, a way of talking. It's not a way of talking. Can God move mountain? When you have faith, who you have faith in? In God. When you say mountain move, what happened? God will do something. He says, if you have faith, small, like a mustard seed, you will tell to this mountain, move, and it will obey. When God speaks to the nature that is raging, and he says, be still, what happened? 
So does it mean literally that he spoke to nature? Yes. In the beginning, he spoke to nature. He talked to the water, bring fish. And then in the miracle with Peter, he did to the nature again. He says, go tell to the fish to give us. So in the life of this guy, God calls him to have the ability to see the impossible happening. A man who does not see who see, okay. But he's not just seeing, he's now seeing the impossible happening in his life. Je disais que Dieu nous demande d'avoir juste une petite foi comme la foi de la moutarde, du grain de moutarde. Mais très souvent, nous avons une foi qui est en, qui est en dessous du grain de moutarde. <rire> qui, est, qui est même plus petite que le grain de moutarde. Le, la, la mesure qui commence, la mesure euh, euh, average, average. Moyenne, c'est il faut commencer à avoir d'abord grain de moutarde. On n'a pas grain de moutarde. On a plus petit que grain de moutarde. Et à cause de cela... Quand nous voyons ce que Dieu dit, est-ce que ce que Dieu dit résonne tellement difficile qu'on commence à simplifier ça à notre manière pour que nous puissions pouvoir amener cette foi-là à notre manière? Donc, par exemple, Jésus dit, si tu as la foi comme une grande moutarde, tu peux déplacer cette montagne. On dit, non, ça c'est une manière de parler. Je vais juste déplacer mon seau. <rire> Parce que nous avons des difficultés à voir la, 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 la grandeur de Dieu. Dieu est capable de dire aux poissons de donner de l'argent à Pierre pour payer les taxes. Dieu est capable de dire à la nature et à la tempête, calme-toi, il parle à la tempête. Il est capable de dire aux eaux, Ram, dans, dans, dans le livre de Genèse, il dit aux eaux, euh, 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 bring forth, I will say that. Produisez de la vie. So in the life of this blind man, he did not simply had a sight issue. He had a spiritual insight issue. But when the Lord touches him, His spiritual insight is more clearer. And now he starts seeing things in the spirit that are more clearer. He starts seeing literally the impossible working in his life. And now he manifests the impossible. But at that time, he has so let Christ penetrate his life that he's capable of obeying the word of God. Transformation and change comes when you have seen the impossible. When the spiritual insight has entered in a place, you have been transformed from the inside of your spirit. In the physical, you cannot remain the same. It's not possible. That's why Paul said, I do not want that your faith uh, repose just on a mere word of man, but on the demonstration of the power of God. The person Paul dira, que je ne, veux, je, ne voudrais pas simple, je ne voudrais pas seulement que ta foi se repose seulement. Il ne me dit pas que ce n'est pas possible. Mais il dit, je ne voudrais pas que seulement que ta foi se repose sur juste l'enseignement des hommes. Mais qu'elle se repose aussi sur la démonstration de la puissance de Dieu. Dans la vie de beaucoup de personnes, in the life of many people, transformation arrives when the spirit When the spirit sees the impossible. Dans la vie de beaucoup de personnes, la transformation ne peut que euh, arriver lorsqu'elles sont capables de voir dans l'esprit des choses impossibles. Ce qui est appelé impossible par la manière humaine. La reconnaissance de l'activité de Dieu dans ta vie, c'est ce qui te permet de pouvoir voir l'impossible de Dieu dans ta vie. 
the, the recognition of the activities of God in your life is what causes you to see the impossible of God in your life. All you got to do is to recognize there is an activity going on. Tout ce dont tu as, tu as besoin de faire, c'est de reconnaître qu'il y a quelque chose qui se passe dans ta vie. Alléluia. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking for... Where is he? Where is he uh... <laughs> Alléluia. We're going to do something. You're going to spit on your hands since you don't want my spit. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're going to take your own hand and then you will see if your faith is, 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 is mustard seed. I want to help you do something. It's an exercise. You will take your own hand and put saliva and then put your eyes and then see if your mind tells you that uh, you are transferring microbes in your eyes or anointing. I'm certain that most of you will be like, oh, this is, this is not clean. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Julie? I was, I'm certain that most of you is like, ah, this is... But I want you to make an exercise. Take your left hand. <laughs> you already left-handed. <laughs> so when I say left hand, you bring the right. <laughs> Prends ta main, ta main gauche. Je vais t'aider à faire une exer uh, comme ça. un exercice. Amen. L'exercice est simple. Ce n'est pas de te dire de faire. Si tu ne veux pas, tu ne fais pas. Mais ce que je sais de faire dans ta vie, c'est un exercice pour t'amener à voir là où tu es. Quelle est la dimension de la foi que tu donnes à Dieu? I want to help you see where you at and what is the dimension of faith or opening that you give to God. I will pray. And I will pray in a particular way as the Lord did by doing a working of miracle that was particular. But instead of using my saliva, you're going to use your arm. And then you're going to put that where you are looking for, for, for healing. Ah, hallelujah. Alléluia. Uh, the Lord is telling me that the, uh, yeah, there is somebody who has a problem with the nerves. The nerves, the nerves. The Lord is talk, telling me that there is somebody who has a nerves problem. Alléluia. The nerves in the hand. Alléluia. So, I have to pray that you are not Oh, Jesus Christ. So, right now, là, très maintenant, en ce moment, là, même à l'instant où je parle, Dieu nous prend. Juste de la prédication pour nous amener à la guérison. Euh, le Seigneur nous prend maintenant de la prédication pour nous amener à la guérison. The Lord is right now taking us literally from preaching into healing. So right now, I want you to really focus on because the Spirit of God that we touch you and we heal. Take your hand and believe that God is able and capable to start and to complete in your life whatever he started. By the Spirit of God, I, I can, the Lord is transferring me in my body somebody who has like a nerve issue, like muscle issue. Seigneur littéralement me fait sentir dans la vie de quelqu'un qui a des nerfs, des problèmes de nerfs. Et pendant que je prie et pendant que je parle, Dieu te guérit là maintenant. While I'm speaking, while I'm talking, God is literally touching you because he is making me feel what you are feeling right now. Uh, 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 le Seigneur me permet de sentir une personne qui dans son côté, dans le côté, dans le côté, dans le côté droit, 
au ventre, somebody who's uh, in, your, in your right side, on your belly, on your right side over here. The Lord is causing me to feel right now that you have a hurt right now. I say right now in the name of Jesus, receive that healing because the working of miracle is taking place in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is causing me to feel somebody who has right here in the ribs, on the left ribs. The Lord is causing me to right there, not bottom, but over this side over here. He's causing me to feel it. And right now, I pray, le Seigneur me permet que je sente quelqu'un qui, dans son côté de rib, sur son côté gauche, qui a une maladie. Là, maintenant, le Seigneur te guérit. Right now, the Lord is touching you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that the hand of God, that the hand of Christ that has walked into the life of the blind man work in your life right now. Je prie que la main de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth, la main du Seigneur qui a marché et fonctionné et appliqué sa guérison sur la vie de l'homme aveugle te guérisse maintenant dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth. Je prie que tu reçoives ta guérison. I pray that you receive healing. I pray that you receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For this is the working of his miracle. Car c'est le travail de ses miracles. Car la bonté qu'il dit, c'est qu'il vient à Bethsaida, c'est qu'il vient à Bethsaida pour pouvoir t'enlever de la douleur dans laquelle tu es, dans la peine dans laquelle tu es, dans la difficulté dans la peine dans laquelle tu es. The Lord is coming in Bethsaida to remove you out from the pain in which you are, from the difficulty from which you are. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that you receive the healing. And I commend it. 